And guys, I am so excited for this match because we finally get to see some Zerg versus Terran. And uh, I mean, this is one of those matchups that is very, very tenuous, I would say, where you have the Zerg poking around with those mutalisks that they like to go with, trying to avoid big clumps of Marines and Thors. And uh, we get to see a lot of that nice harass based play while Zerg tries to macro up enough to hold off that big Terran mid-game push. Hmm. But we'll have to see what both players go with because this could be completely different than that. And we're on a giant macro map. Yeah, this is this is a Baneling map if I've ever seen one, brother. Uh, I really hope that the Terran doesn't... Uh, well, I don't know. I like Maybe I like mech for the Terran on this on a map like this. I, I do think that, uh, that mech is a, a good choice on any map, but I'm not sure if it's as strong on this map as it is, say, on GSL Crevasse, where mm -hmm. you have a lot of those ramps up into the center. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Belshire Beach is actually quite a flat map. So, uh, you know, there isn't a ramp into the main or really into the natural. There's a kind of a ramp into the natural, but all the stuff is very gently gradiented. And uh, Barracks first, no gas yet. So uh, we'll have to see what comes out of Binksky. Is he going to go for a, uh, a gasless expand? That's uh, That's been, you know, a, a big favorite of a lot of Terran players. No, the gas finally going down. So uh, we'll see a factory, but it will be a little bit delayed. All right, Barracks hitting about 60% completion here as we see the gas go down as well. Extra expand here. Yes, very nice. OCG working out the macro plan as we see no gases yet for the Zerg player. Scouting yeah. Overlord here hitting the south side. Uh, do you have some thoughts there for a second? Maybe, yeah, maybe I mean, you got uh, an idea? We, we haven't seen a pool out of OCG yet either, and he's all the way up to 17 food. So this is actually, I mean, on a big map like this, I can see this being a good choice, but... Delaying the pool by that much, actually, uh, you know, a lot of Zerg players will think, oh, well, this is a good move to do, but um, they're failing to realize that delaying the pool means you delay your queens and you delay your injects. So mm. it often has a bigger negative effect than it does a positive effect, delaying it as, as far as uh, he just did. All right. Gas steal here by the Zerg in the Terran base. Meanwhile, SCV does make it into the Zerg base. Ooh, he's going to get trapped there against the hatchery. And uh, that's going to take away some much-needed intel from Binsky there. Uh, could be a good opportunity for the Zerg to try something a little creative. And I really like this move out of Ostajoy stealing the gas. I think that it's something that, as a Zerg player, you should really do every single time you have the opportunity to do so. Stealing the gas from your opponent just basically says, okay, well, I know he can't have cloaked banshees at the seven minute mark. He's going to have to have them at the eight minute and 10 second mark because he's just not going to have enough gas to do it. And uh, I mean, with the reactor coming out on the barracks though, looks like we're definitely gonna be seeing reactor Hellions out of Binksky and a command center to follow it up. So a great opening out of him. And this really has become standard in this matchup, to be honest. Saw a lot of these builds uh, in the final stages of the WCG a few weeks ago. There's plenty of these going on. There was some in the GSL recently too that I love. Now, what you know, what do you what do you think the chances are of the blue flame at this point with only one gas? I, I don't think we're gonna see blue flame. Um, it looks like he's throwing on a tech lab onto that barracks. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see some marauders come out. Um, and this this is either like really good precognition or he just kind of had a hunch that uh, you know Ostajoy would go for roaches because of course marauders are very good against roaches and um, he is going roach to counter this hellion aggression which is a great choice so I, I really I really like the play out of both players here you know Ostajoy is saying I'm not gonna fool around with uh, with trying to you know hold this off with just queens and links and spine crawlers. I'm going to get out the heavy hitting units, the roaches, uh, and Binksky kind of anticipating that and saying, well, I'm going to have a tech lab ready so I can make marauders. Very nice. Hellion's on the way up trying to hit the ramp here, but it's been defended by two queens. And now perfect timing here for those four roaches to pop out as well. I don't think that Binsky caught it. Oh, no, and he's going to run head first right into those roaches there and be pushed back all the way to his own base. I don't know. Those things can kite him. Why is he running back so far, Gwen? 
You know, I, this is one of those plays where, look at this. I mean, the the roaches, the units are rallied to his front door. He really needs to be back at his base to defend a push like this. And this is one of those things that, you know, Zerg players have been starting to figure out. If my opponent opens Hellions and I open, you know, uh, and, and I open Roach, I can just go kill him unless he has a bunker and some Marauders up. And look, we finally see a Marauder in there, and that's probably going to spell the end of this attack. But, uh, I mean, still potentially a lot of damage here for Osterjoy to do. Hellion's still stuck out in the middle of the map there as a large contingent of roaches are down at the expansion of the Terran. Looks like they're trying to head up and do a little bit of uh, range exploitation there. Very nice. Uh, targeting down that, uh, targeting down the barracks there. Meanwhile, Hellion's trying to push the ramp yet again, run into a large group of Zerglings. They definitely do a starport on the way. So, and all this is off one base. So, I mean, we see three racks, a factory and a starport off one base for, for Osted, Osted, uh, I'm sorry, Binksky. And of course he does have that macro command center down, but until he gets it to an expansion, he effectively has the, the same income he would have on one base. Hmm. A little bit late on some of these injects over here for the Zerg as well. OCG seems to be well focused at the front over there. You can see macro hatch going down as well as the Evo chamber to be safe against our air units. And he is going to have to pull back. Now, this uh, this dropship coming out, I mean... Osterjoy forced Binksky to make a lot of ground units to defend that. And the danger, of course, in, in any matchup really is that if you force your opponent to make units to survive, they can then put pressure back on you with those units. And that dropship allows Binksky to do that in places that Osterjoy doesn't want. Uh, and so we'll have to see what comes of that, but I, I think drop play would be, uh, would be fantastic at this point. Don't worry, y'all. I'll, I'll kill the music. It's all good. Hey, a uh, little bit of roach defense here. A little bit of just... I mean, this is just some posturing here for the moment. Why do you think that OCG is being so patient right now, knowing full well that this expansion just went down and a million mules just hit the turf? I mean, he's throwing up his third right now. And, uh, I mean, he's really going for what I'd call a Nesty style right now. Nesty is, is very known for getting out roaches and using roaches to kind of uh, hold off a lot of Terran aggression in the mid game uh, and then transitioning into that more typical style. But hold on, we've got a counter attack here. Not gonna be too successful as this wall off is complete, uh, but the thought was good. But uh, I mean, if we go back to this, a queen gets taken out immediately and this could be a very scary attack. Banley is coming in, but no, with no speed, not doing too much, another queen falls. And, uh, I mean, we'll have to see, oh, huge Baneling hits on all of those units. That is going to get cleaned up very easily once those Banelings rolled in. And that, uh, that was some, a little bit of a, I believe, a misstep by Binksy getting that far onto the creep. Yeah, I think he got a little ahead of himself, hoping maybe this road force was in the middle of the map when he went to attack. Nice pickups there, going to allow some of those Terran units to survive that situation. Let's see what else is happening in the base, shall we? Do we have some, uh, well, we have, we've only have tanks in production. Are they able to? Uh, no, they, they able do to? not have the wow, siege mode yet, and it's not even started. Uh -oh. So this is going to be a very late siege mode. I, I almost feel like he forgot it. I mean, we're 12 minutes in the game here, and this is, this is like the time when you definitely need siege tanks because uh, Zerg is going to start counterattacking every time you move out, and you have to have siege mode to defend against that. Yeah, I guess it's good that he's building all these additional barracks in the situation because as we can see, plenty of mute is now gonna hit the uh, hit the board for the Zerg, uh, as well as some additional drones for the third. Looks like we do have a drop though here at the third base. And uh, I mean, eight Marines and a medevac like that stimmed uh, can do a lot of damage to a muta flock. So, uh, I mean, we'll have to see if he chooses to, to engage that, especially with that Plus one attack already done, plus one armor on its way, and combat shield and stem. Muter's gonna make their way into the Terra base right now. They're gonna be met with a formidable opposition right on the inside, and they were unable to do much damage. Uh, let's take a look here as the Terran decides to push the issue here, dropping a few Marines down at the Zerg third as well. 
Muters are going to rotate back and see if they can run in to this little medevac here. Looks, Looks like, like the medevac will escape with its life this time. That uh, That's a good thing, though, because those medic pilots, so hot. <laughs> While still no siege mode, brother. Siege mode is finished, though, so oh, he, can, okay. he can siege up, moving out. Oh, and and this is this mid-game aggression, of course, that uh, that so many Zergs fear, and that, you know, basically all of your timings have to revolve uh, around as either race of a player. You know, you either have to do this mid-game push as a Terran player, or you, you wait until you max out on food to do it. Uh, and we'll have to see, you know, what goes on here because uh, that's a really scary force to deal with as a Zerg player. Large concentration of units here, but this tank isn't siege. Looks like some big trouble here on the front side with the Zergling Muta hits coming in. Marines trying to make it back in time to help, but the Muta is so mobile they're going to be able to get out of the way. Great shot right there by Osage. Does a lot of damage there for for uh, himself, and uh, he's going to be able to reap a little bit of benefits here by delaying further the Terran's advance. Absolutely. I mean, and this is the counterattack style that you have to employ in this matchup when you're going for that mutiling baneling composition because your composition is actually very fragile. You can't get into direct engagements without really, really good flanks, and your mutilists really can't engage at all, especially against that number of Marines. Terran has decided he's just going to go ahead and push. Simultaneously, Mutas are going to hit the mineral line here in the middle of the Terran base. But look, Terran just keeps going. There goes the siege right there. Remaining inside the base, though, Mutalisks. Uh-oh. Tanks are dug in on the front side, and the Mutas are going to have to come back. Uh-oh. Don't those stray too far. Those tanks are absolutely exposed. And oh my god, those could have done so much damage and need to be so careful. But uh, that creep is slowly retreating as those creep tumors were killed. And uh, if this is just an attack move, going, well, No, no, no. This ain't even close, brother. He can just attack from this. And wow, that was you know quite an advantage there for Osajoy with that position. Looks like there was a drop at the third at the same time, killing off a lot of drones, but getting cleaned up. Yeah, that was that was really really easy 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 pickings there for the Zerg player. I was really quite surprised. Was it? Was there something he did with his tanks or something? Did he unsiege at a bad time, or was that Zerg army just large uh, he enough? He was. He was really close to the creep, and I mean, I think that really helps with the closing speed. He hadn't. He had kind of sieged on the creep and then cleared some of it out, and I, and I almost feel like you want to clear the creep out and then move on to it and siege. Um, but uh, we'll have to see. I mean, Osterjoy is up to, you know, a five base now. It does not have that fifth base really saturated. And his fourth base just got cleaned out by that drop. Um, and so supplies are actually pretty equal. And uh, that planetary is really hard to attack into. And uh, Binksky's in macro mode at this point. I mean, look yeah. at his production, you know, making, you know, two tanks at a time, getting two two ups for his infantry. And 2-2 uh, two -two is, a, is a great timing to push at. You know what else is a good timing? This one right here, because both players are ready to play right now. <laughs> we'll see if we can force a siege here uh, and slow down this Terran advance. But uh-oh, uh-oh, who's got the map control, Gwen? I don't know. I I'm feeling Terran in the middle at this point. But look at this. The creep is advancing. Meanwhile, Terran just going to be able to hold the middle. Wow, this is, this is really a slow advance, but I like this right here. Shh, yeah, I mean, this, don't uh... Don't say a word. Don't say anything. Just let it ride. Shh. What else is going on? In the middle, though, the <laughs> queen gets taken out. Uh, we have a little bit of a, a drop going on. Now you can say something! Now you say it! Now you yell and scream and say, Are you getting dropped, bro? Get back there! Hold on, though. We've got a huge counterattack at the third with all those and Oh, my God. Banelings taking out that planetary. Uh, the Marines at the fourth base here cleaning it up. Loud and, noises! Uh, Loud noises! So we've got many armies! All over the place. And, uh, I mean, it looks like... Uh, you know, it looks like Terran, I would oh definitely boy. give the advantage yeah. to Binksy right now with this multi-prong harass. This is so hard to deal with. As on siege, but, though. Oh my god, he is not sieged and he will get cleaned oh, up here. Shh. Those Banelings and Fester's getting huge fungals, but those Banelings did not get any hits on the Marines. And a tank survived. That is terrible for 
oats to join. Yeah, look at these Marines. There are a lot of them remaining here. Let's check it out here. A couple pages of them there, about 26 or so. The Baneleys are going to be able to come out and be a huge threat here, though. And the Zerglings are going to be able to take care of that tank, leaving only Marines left. But However, plenty of bases getting dropped, uh, and the income. Let's take a look here. Do, do, let's do some numbers here for a second during this action here, Glenn. I mean, army supply definitely in favor of Binksky. He's actually up in total supply, but also 84 drones. A great number to have in this matchup. Let's take a look at the income for a second. Uh, I'm going to say that, uh, wow, Osajoy ahead in that. So Binksky falling a little bit behind on mules, I think. But hold on, look at this huge push up into the middle on the creep, not even afraid anymore. Oh, yeah, this is big trouble here. I mean, way too many Banelings that, uh, oh, wow, wait a minute. Not enough Banelings to deal with this Marine spread, that's for sure. Uh, another base going down here, and it looks like it's near chokeout time here as Binksy with a nice slow push seals the middle. I don't know if he's aware of this base, though. He, he's Somebody definitely not, but I, I don't even think it matters right now. I mean, Zerg is basically on a base and a half. Yep. I, I mean, his main is mined out. His expansion has got, like, two mineral patches left. Uh, Terran is, is on two base, but, uh, I mean, he's he's got mules, so... I, I mean, he could lose all his workers and, and, and still be able to produce Marines. And, uh, I mean, at this point, Osajoy on the ropes. If he can get some really clutch baneling hits in, but with that tank spread, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, not enough production here. A lot of the tech buildings are going to be at risk here soon. Um, and you know what? I, I agree here. Glenn. look at the sweet, slow, methodical move forward here. And this should be one of the last attacks here. The matchup is now he's over the hump. It's attack move time, kids. Some of the force is going to hang back, though. I really like maybe comping some of this technique, especially with the tank spreading. <clears throat> Loving Absolutely. It. I mean, I, I think that, uh, I mean, that's one of the, the keys to success in this matchup really is, is really good tank placement and making sure you pre-spread your Marines out. So, uh, I mean, we've seen both those things out of Binksky as he slow pushed through this, uh, this Zerg natural. I'm looking at the infestation pit going to go down. Uh, it doesn't even matter if those four Marines went down because it took three Balins to do it and that's not a cost effective trade for the Zerg player, and he just doesn't have the bases to not be cost-effective. All right, finally scouting out the additional base here. Uh, it's going to cause the Terran player to begin ra rallying units near to it. Meanwhile, big, large, slow, methodical tank push coming right at you. The 2-2 Marines, let's check the stats on the tanks here. Just here are 1-0 for the tanks, but look at that. You can't stop this, son. You think you can counterattack with your Zerglings? Well... Guess what? Binksy's Binksy's got the answer. I want to call him Banksy. Do you like Do you like art by any chance? Are you a Banksy fan? Oh, looks like some infested Terrans going down here. Not going to be enough to stop this, and the push in the main continues. Uh, you know, at this point, I, I'm surprised that Ostajoy hasn't just GD GG'd out. I mean, we're talking about triple the supply for his opponent, mm -hmm. and finally the GG. Uh, you know, it's it's definitely heartbreaking to see that happen, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see if he brings it back in game two. It's such, such a 